Bum, 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 bum. You guys ready? A uh, new selling scares video! Let's go! Spoopy time? It's spoopy time. You ready for a new selling scares video? Which we're going to watch together on Spooky Sunday. Let's go! Let's go! It's called... Were these paranormal ghost videos even real? Were they? Are they real? Did you see it, guys? Did you see it? Are they real? Let's go! Growing up, I saw a lot of very popular ghost videos on YouTube, some of them with tens of millions yes. of views that I used to think were real. Looking back at these videos now, I can see them in a much different light, so I thought it would be fun to look back at some of the most popular ones that you've likely yes! seen before if you've been on this side oh of my YouTube God. for even a short amount of time. Oh my god, this is perfect for us. This is perfect, we want so many. <laughs> We want so many! Let's go. Girls See Ghost and Run In 2012, a video titled Girls See Ghost and Run was uploaded to YouTube by user Angel Yeah, Ruiz. we've been so many of In these. In the video, two girls sit at their dinner table while a woman who we can reasonably assume is their mother starts recording them as they eat. I know this clip! Yeah. See, it's starting. I'm going to know a lot of them, I swear. What? What? I'm always scared, honey. I just honey. turned off the lights, that's all. A few seconds into the video, I'm one of the girls peers scared. into I the dark you, hallway behind them they and becomes me, yeah, visibly they disturbed by something she sees. Seconds they later, did. the other girl turns her head, and when she doesn't see anything, she makes fun of her sister for getting scared and even tries to scare her to rub it in. <laughs> that would be me. That will be me. I will bully my sister like that. I will be that sister. <laughs> Someone what? photos up me in there. Ah, is they're scared of me. <laughs> I'll just I'll stand there like this. <laughs> like this. <laughs> guys, I think they're scared of me. I think they're scared of me, guys. <laughs> I, I think... You saw it? Did you see it, guys? Did you see it? <laughs> Did you see it? You see it? <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> About a minute into the video, the first girl decides that she's had enough and starts crying. So I bully little girls. To hide from whatever <laughs> no. she saw in the hallway. At first, the other girl remains calmly at the table, but when she turns her head to look into the hallway again, she gets even more spooked than her sister. What a mood. <laughs> look at me. I kind of feel bad that both her and the mom, they're both laughing. That's kind of mean. That's kind of mean. But you gotta listen to me. Turn around. Look at me. Look to my... I mean, I'm not that scary. It was kind of rude. I'm not that Even ugly, seconds right? Earlier, she was laughing at her sister for apparently being scared of nothing. The other girl also starts screaming after presumably seeing this. I'm not. I'm not that ugly, right? Was Same it not that terrible? <laughs> Toward the end of the video, the girl's mother can be heard laughing as her kids cry in her arms. I saw you without which hair. Is honestly oh, come a little on. confusing considering the circumstances. Since the video was uploaded in 2012, it's received more than 1.5 million views, mostly popular- Mia, mirrors crack in your presence? Wow, you are on the next level of mean today. Holy shit. It's, it's by the, the smell. YouTube channel <laughs> Nukes Top 5 in 2018, where the video was featured in the channel's most popular video. As the disturbing footage- 36 million! Nukes is cracked, man. 36 million! Bro! Bro, what the frick? That's amazing. A lot of people started coming up with theories to explain what the girls saw, with many people alleging that the girls had seen a ghost. Around that time, the video also started being used in a bunch of top five scary compilations everywhere online, which added more fuel to the fire. 
But despite the heap of paranormal <laughs> the red th arrows are amazing, man. theories the that best. got thrown around for years, there are some very clear indications that this video is fake. I'm not saying the girls didn't see anything in the hallway behind the kitchen because they obviously did, but it's more than obvious that whatever they did see wasn't what? paranormal at all. For starters, it's already pretty suspicious that the girl's mom started recording right before the incident, which suggests she knew exactly what was about to happen and wanted to make sure she caught it on camera. Oh no. Strangely, the mother also appears to be laughing throughout the whole thing, even though her children seem extremely distressed. I the mom traumatized them, bro. She literally traumatized them. They will not sleep for several weeks. I honestly think that's pretty that's messed so up regardless rude. of her motive, but the only thing that could explain a reaction like that is if she was in on the whole thing. Also, when the mom asks the first girl what she's afraid of, the girl responds, Angel. Why, mommy? Look at me. What are you scared of? The fish? Oh, the fish died. What? Angel's sleeping already. From the video alone, it's hard to tell who exactly oh. Angel is, but we can guess that it's probably either the girl's older sister or their dad. Because the video was uploaded on the night of Halloween in no. 2012, it's likely that this was just a Halloween prank where this Angel person dressed up in a ghost costume and scared the girls in the dark hallway. This seems even more likely when you look at the description yeah. of the video, which reads, Girl makes fun of friend for getting scared and crying until she sees it herself. Funny. Funny. Why else would where they is that the funny? On top of that, if you look at the YouTube tags that the video was uploaded with, they read Halloween ghost pranks girls scary. Halloween and pranks especially being some clear indicators of what this video is really about. Aww. Overall, everything seems to indicate that this was just a Halloween prank played on a couple of unsuspecting girls. girls. And from their reaction, it looks like the parents got exactly what they wanted. Poor girls. Ghost caught on camera. On October 2nd, 2017, a video titled Ghost Caught on Camera was uploaded to the channel Deer Park CBS. Since then, it's racked up over 20 million Wait, do we views, know this one? which is insane. Probably. The video in question shows supposed security camera footage of the inside of a Christian school in I Ireland think we saw at that about 3am. Did we see that one? I think so. What? scary like that bro did you see it did you see it guys did you see it don't slam the doors mia i'm sorry i was a little aggressive on it i had a bad day okay a few a seconds day. into the video, doors and lockers randomly start opening and rocking, and wet floor signs start flying everywhere. Not a bad day, guys. At first glance, this Getting video seems pretty lockers. convincing, <laughs> and it's understandable why it got over 20 million views. But after yeah, you're, it's, uh, you're, tr you're so right. You cannot see it. There are no circles and arrows. You, you're not able to see it physically. I'm so sorry, guys, that you cannot see the video. I'm sorry, man. Looking at the video a couple of times, there are a bunch of red flags that come up that give it away as a clear fake. I mean, how convenient is it that the lockers that move by the supposed ghost are located right in front of an open window that someone could easily stick their hands through and just rock with their hands? As for the rest of the events that the camera recorded, pretty much every single one of them is easy to pull off with a piece of black string. In fact, if you zoom into the wet floor Ami. sign when it goes flying, you can see what appears to be a black thread tied to the upper right hand corner. What's even more of a giveaway is the fact that the camera that recorded I the whole mean. thing was placed at the same height as the picture frames on the adjacent wall. I have honestly never seen security camera footage from that low of a vantage point. And if you look down the hallway, you'll see one of the school's real security cameras placed a few feet higher at a normal height. I mean... This suggests this camera was probably mounted on a tripod or a ladder of some so sort. So like scares is good at that stuff. The man. comments in the video were also turned off, which says to me the uploader didn't want anyone calling out their hoax so they could milk the public's attention as long as possible. I mean... After doing a bit of research on the channel, I also noticed that this wasn't the first time Deer Park Christian Brothers School tried to go viral on YouTube. In 2016, a video was uploaded to the channel where the students at the school performed the Mannequin Challenge, which was big at that time. Not I love that the fucking school is trying to go viral. <laughs> what is the timeline we're living in, man? Not only is this video a clear indication that the school had been trying to get itself on the map for a while, but it was also helpful in seeing the layout of the school. 
If you pause the mannequin challenge video at about a minute and 45 seconds in, you'll see that this is a pretty similar layout to the floor that was captured in the alleged ghost video. And the window shown is very similar to the one in the video that the locker was sitting uh -oh. in front of. This is pretty much definitive proof that the lockers were placed right in front of an open window, which would make it extremely easy for someone to rock it back and forth from the outside. God, he's being doing seen detective work. Overall, it's pretty safe to say that despite the massive amount of attention and media coverage this video got, it is very clearly a hoax. Ghost was the was the mannequin challenge before or after Harlem's sake? <laughs> it was before, right? My oh God, you remember Harlem's sake? Hold this it. I think mannequin was before. After? No? Was it after? I remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making you remember. God, I'm old. Yes, yeah, same, bro. Screaming in haunted hotel. In September 2012, a video was uploaded to YouTube titled Ghost Screaming in Haunted Hotel, Full Length. I'm turning into In dust. the video description, the <laughs> uploader claims that the footage was submitted by the hotel security manager who was allegedly standing watch at a Wingate Hotel in Illinois on September 14th, 2003. Mm -hmm. To give viewers more context, the uploader also mentions that, according to the security manager, several guests had called the front desk that night complaining that there were loud screaming noises coming from room Aww, 2. Oh, they heard me play League according of Legends. According to the uploader, several people over the years have also complained oh, about strange noises coming from that same room, but there's not I'm much sorry. information online to support this claim. As for the video itself, the hotel security camera footage shows John, a supposed employee at Wingate. It looks like I'm on observ observation duty. <laughs> Someone's just playing. This lo literally looks like a freaking hotel level, and I'm on observation duty. Gate <laughs> Hotel responding to the noise complaints as he communicates with the security manager, who gives him updates on the situation via that. radio and guides him to room 209. I'm sorry for screaming, man. What's going on, John? There's no one checked into that room. There should be nobody in there. Just, I, I would wait for the police, John. Hey, I mean, John's, uh, John's gonna enter the room. Why does it sound like a raven or something, like a burp? Even though the security manager explicitly tells John Opens to wait for the cops, he goes into the room to investigate with his flashlight anyway. A few seconds later, some sort of white mist appears to exit the room. After Did John leaves it? the room, he reports to the security manager that the room had Did pretty much been it, torn guys? apart, even though there's nobody inside. Do you and see they, it? Hold on. No one After the video there. was uploaded, thousands of people jumped in the comments section to claim that the footage showed a real ghost encounter. But despite the 13 million views, the video has a few <laughs> red flags. To start off, at around 13 seconds in the video, the camera inside the elevator shakes way more than a normal elevator security camera should, suggesting that it was probably mounted on a tripod. Hey, cops. Throughout the whole video, the color of the footage is not at all common for a regular hotel security camera, meaning that the footage was probably edited after the fact to make it look more creepy. What's more, this kind of I mean, I don't understand the green tint if it's like light in there, you know, it's very light in there. Why does it have a green tint? It doesn't need any night vision. Like usually if it's, you no. Know. High definition security footage is hard to find nowadays in 2024, and it would have been pretty much impossible to acquire in 2003, especially from a three-star hotel like the Wingate. Also, there's no way that massive indoor swimming pool with the high ceiling that's shown in the footage at around the 12 second mark actually belongs to the Wingate hotel that's supposedly being shown in the footage. If you look at pictures of every Wingate uh -oh. hotel in Illinois, none of the pools look like that, as they're all quite a bit smaller than the one uh -oh. shown in the footage. Now, I mean, that as was for a big John, the alleged hotel employee, it honestly seems a bit suspicious to that he would enter hotel. a room where he knows there's something messed up going down and not even bother to turn on the lights. As for the white mist that exits the room after he enters, it literally could not look more fabricated, and honestly, the video would have probably looked more authentic if they had just left that part out. All this should probably be enough to put this to rest as an obviously fake video. 
but as if all that weren't enough, if you look at the video description, it says, for licensing rights, please contact us at www.blackwellghost.com. Licensing? And I was able to find that the Blackwell Ghost is a film series produced by a filmmaker named Turner Clay. Ah. At the end of the film, special Busted. thanks are given in the credits to Jimmy Nut 22 Busted. which is the name of the YouTube channel that uploaded the video. He's thanked for the use of the hotel video as the story about Room 209 serves as the inspiration for the Blackwell Ghost film series. Bastard. And if you look at Turner Clay's IMDB profile, you'll find that there's an alternative name for him that's listed in his personal details. And as you might have guessed, it's Jimmy Nut 22 On dozens of vlogs- What in the Xbox gamer tag? <laughs> all around the internet it's pretty much been confirmed that the voice of the hotel security manager in the video is actually the voice of Turner not Clay. <laughs> in the YouTube video you also uh -huh, find not. that the Blackwell ghost film series is being promoted <laughs> below the description what? which makes it pretty clear that Imagine the calling yourself Jimmy not 22 <laughs> Exactly. The entire video is probably just made and promoted as real to bring more attention to the Blackwell ghost series on Jimmy Nut 22's YouTube channel, you'll find a bunch of videos and trailers promoting the Blackwell Ghost, also confirming hello, hello. the theory that this was a marketing stunt that a lot of people just ended Busted. up taking seriously. With over 13 and a half million views as of today, it's safe to say that Mom. the promotion was by all accounts successful. Man, I saw make a fake ghost video. It's about time, guys. We need to make a fake ghost video. If we get if you get 13 million welcome. views for that, welcome, bro. Bro, it's about time. It's about Manchester time. Manchester Poltergeist caught on CCTV. In November 2012, the channel Southport TV uploaded a video titled News, Manchester Poltergeist caught on CCTV. That's news? In it, security camera footage shows an office building being trashed at around 3 a.m., even though there doesn't seem to be anyone inside the building. Again with the high quality night vision camera that also has the night vision on when it's light. That doesn't make any sense. Usually the night vision turns off when there's too much light for cameras right there. Like that. Also, also why why is the quality so good? Why do they have why do they have such good quality for like that would take up so much drive space. Like how in in 2012 as well as 2012 having this good of a camera quality for for freaking security cameras in 2012 that those files must take up so much space. Yeah, and when they're that high quality, they should have day mode and not just the, the green talent is so fake. It's not real. Never in a million years. The quality is way too good. If they were to record all of this the entire time, they would run out of drive space so quickly in 2012. Half of the building is filled with 500 terabytes hard drive. Um, bro, never, never in a million years, this is so, yeah, this is way too much too, they did too much, welcome. Bro, what the fuck, why would they do that? Hi! Huh? Why would they do that? Why would- In the video description, the uploaders allege that this is the actual unedited footage that the security guards at the Castle Field House on Liverpool Road in Manchester came across the next day. But if this ah, was really nah, caught on nah. CCTV at 3 a.m. in a deserted office building, why are all the lights on? Yes. And why does the footage have this strange, unnatural green tint right? that makes it more what? than obvious what? that it was edited? Right. There is literally no CCTV footage in the world that looks like that with no editing. Right. Throughout the whole video, one of the things that gets the most attention is the door handles that are being moved up and down. But whoever made this video clearly didn't think about how obvious it is that the door handles are clearly being shaken and moved from the inside, not from some sort of invisible entity on the outside. Also, it's all too common for people who make paranormal hoax videos to use moving chairs as support for their claims. And the main reason for that is that pulling a chair with a yeah, black string an and making I'm it seem as if it's moving guys. on its own is one of the easiest gags to pull off. If you look closely, all of the chairs move in an almost perfectly straight line, which is a dead giveaway that they're being pulled by some sort of string. 
The same goes for the slamming doors and the opening and shutting cabinets that make the papers go flying all over the place. Finally, one of the most obvious signs that this was fabricated was the static that repeatedly appears on the computer monitors. The uploaders don't seem to account for the fact that computers don't even produce static. Overall, despite the millions- Wait, I didn't even see the static until now and it's so bad. Wait, that's so bad. That's so badly edited. Wait. Welcome. That repeatedly appears on the computer monitors. The uploaders don't seem to account for the fact that computers don't even produce static. That's so bad! <laughs> that's so badly edited. What the fuck? That's like almost comedic. Overall, Welcome despite back. the millions of views it got, there are just too many different indications that this video is fake. That's, that's a fake for real. Wow! While selling scares, you went into investigation mode. He did good though. He explained everything perfectly. I really like that. I, I didn't even see some of them. Like the school one, the school one I've seen before. I've seen the school one before. I've seen the one with the children before. But the hotel one and the last one with the office, I never saw those, I think. I've never seen those. Th those are completely new for me. I like debunking videos, not gonna lie. I really like this one. No circles, no arrows. I don't know where to look. 